This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. And we have two types of quadrilaterals that we want to look at in this lesson. We have the parallelogram and we have the trapezoid. So notice with the parallelogram that the opposite um, sides are parallel to each other and they have the same length. So those sides are congruent. So this side and that side are congruent and this side and that side are congruent. Also notice that the angles that are opposite of each other are congruent or the same measure. So these angles are the same and those angles are the same. Um, in a quadrilateral the um, total number of degrees is 360. When you add up all of the interior angles so this angle plus that angle plus that angle plus this angle all add up to 360 degrees. So that's very important. And let's take a look at three types of parallelograms that we see in geometry. The first uh, type of parallelogram is called the square. So the square is um, par parallelogram that um, has four congruent sides. So all the sides have the same length. And notice that um, all the interior angles are right angles or 90 degrees. It's important to note that um, the diagonals of a square have the same measure. So the diagonals of the square have the same measure. Now the next type of parallelogram we'll take a look at is called the rectangle. So the rectangle is very similar to the square except the um, the opposite sides are congruent so it has two uh, pairs of congruent sides. So this side and its opposite side have the same length and then this side and that side have the same length unlike the square which all the sides have the same length. Notice that each interior angle is a right angle or 90 degrees. And it's good to know that in a rectangle that the diagonals are the same measure or the same length. And then our last type of parallelogram we'll take a look at is called the rhombus. So the rhombus is very similar to the square. Um, all of the sides, you know, have the same length. They're all congruent. Um, notice that the opposite sides are also parallel to each other as well. And the opposite angles are also congruent. So this angle and that angle across from it are the same measure. And then this angle and that angle across from it are the same measure. Now unlike the square and the rectangle where the diagonals are the um, are the same length, the diagonals in a rhombus actually are different lengths. And it's just due to the fact that these angles are actually different. The opposite angles are different. So um, those are the three types of parallelograms that we see in geometry. The square, the rectangle, and the rhombus. Now the next category of the quadrilateral we want to look at is called the trapezoid. And the trapezoid uh, has um, what's called uh, two bases. So it has a small base and a large base. 
and the bases are actually parallel to each other but notice that they have different lengths so this is the shorter base and this is the longer base and these two angles right here are what are known as the base angles so those are base angles and um, if the base angles are congruent say this one and that one are also the same length and let's just assume that this this side and then that side are also congruent or the same length then we would call this what's known as an isosceles trapezoid So that's the case where the base angles, these two angles are the same measure, and then the sides opposite of those base angles that are not parallel to each other are also the same measure, same length. So that's what's known as the isosceles trapezoid. Otherwise, it's just called um, just a general trapezoid. So um, you probably have heard, if you've seen triangles before, you may have heard of an isosceles um, triangle. It has the same idea, you know, where you have the triangle. You have these two base angles here. Of course, the triangle has three angles, but these two are the base angles, so they have the same measure. And so these sides opposite of the base angles also have the same measure, so that's the isosceles uh, triangle. So same idea. Okay, so now that we've learned about the quadrilaterals with the parallelograms and the trapezoids, we're going to give you um, three important problems. The first problem and the third problem are multiple choice, and then the second problem is um, uh, something you need to calculate. So let's take a look at those problems. So the first one says, which of the following is not, not a parallelogram? So not, not a parallelogram. So we either have the square, trapezoid, rhombus, or rectangle. Which of the following is not, not a parallelogram? And then the second problem says that the side of a square is three inches. And then we find the perimeter and area of the square. So perimeter is the sum of all the sides of the square and then the area of the square that's going to be your length times your width so you have to multiply the length times the width to find the area of the square and then number three we have a trapezoid is isosceles if which of the following is true so there's a base angles are congruent B the bases the small and large base are congruent C sides opposite of the base angles are congruent or D both A and C so trapezoids isosceles which of the following is true so pick, choose the best answer so I'll give you time to pause the video to work out these three problems. Feel free to rewind the video to see um, the information on quadrilaterals and uh, with parallelograms and trapezoids um, just to review the description of each type and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers to the three problems. So the first one says, which of the following following is not, not a parallelogram? So parallelogram, remember, is um, looks like this. Okay. 
color that in there. So it looks like this and then it has the uh, opposite sides are parallel to each other and then they're congruent. So we know square is a parallelogram so it can't be that one. Trapezoid we know rhombus and rectangle must be parallelograms, so it looks like the trapezoid, right? Because we notice that in the, with the trapezoid, we have the opposite sides, or the bases are parallel to each other. They're different lengths. But these two sides are not parallel to each other. See, the parallelogram has two pairs the sides that are parallel to each other so it has to be the trapezoid. The so trapezoid is not a parallelogram but the square, rhombus, and rectangle are parallelograms. So number two we have the side of a square is three inches find the perimeter and area of the square. So we'll draw the square and we know with um, the square that all the sides have the same length. So we have 3, 3, 3, and 3 for 3 inches for each side. And to find the uh, perimeter, we're just going to do add up all the sides. But since we have three, uh, four threes, we could just multiply, right? We could just do 4 times 3 to give us the perimeter. And then that would give us 12. So we have 12 inches for the perimeter. And to find the area of the square, you know, how much area it covers, then we just do 3 times 3 to find the area, length times width, and then that equals 9. So we get 9 inches for the area of the square. Perimeter is 12 inches and the area is 9 inches. Okay, and then for the last one, we have a trapezoid is um, isosceles if which of the following is true. Let's see if the base angles are congruent. Looks like that has to be true, so we know that's a possibility. Bases are congruent. Um, we know that that's not possible, right? Because we looked at the trapezoid and noticed that there was a small base and large base. Those are not the, can't be the same size, so we know it can't be B. Uh, the C side opposites of the base angles also are congruent, and that's true. So if you have the base angles, same measure, then those sides opposite of the Base angles also have to be the same length, so this side and, and that side. So we know that that's also true. And then D is both A and C. So since so since A is true and C is true, then our answer has to be D, both A and C. Okay, so let's check our answer key. So you have B for the first one. And the second one is 12 inches for the perimeter, 9 inches squared or square inches for the area of the square. And then for the third one, we have D is our answer. So if you got your answers all right, great job. You have a good understanding of quadrilaterals. Um, you know what a parallelogram is, and you know what a trapezoid is, and their characteristics. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on quadrilaterals. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.